Hi there, I'm Brian LaRosa with LaRosa's Trains and Facebook, and today I'm going to do a quick review on the Lionel Beetle's Yellow Submarine Aquarium Car. I'm going to start off with how an aquarium car works, but first I want to let you know that I'm not exactly an expert on Lionel's aquarium cars, because in fact this is my first aquarium car to my collection. So if you think I'm wrong at some point, please let me know. An aquarium car consists of several parts. Of course, beneath each truck, you got a pickup roller. And on the insides, you got a powerful maintenance free motor, two spinning spindles, and a plastic belt strip that contains decorative illustrations such as fish and so forth. And when power is added to the track, the motor is turned on and moves the spinning spindles, which turn the belt strip all around the aquarium car. And you can see through it with these plastic windows. So it gives you the illusion that the fish are swimming around the car as the train goes on its journey. On the underside of this car is an on-off switch. So if you want to turn the motion of the belt strip off, it's just as easy. First of all, make sure that there's no power on the track, which I would recommend for safety. Then you turn the car over to access the switch underneath it. Then you switch it to the off position. Then you place the car back onto the track and give it some power. And if you want to turn it back on, you do the same thing. Again, make sure that there's no power on the track. Then you turn the car over and then switch it back to the on position. Place the car back onto the track and give it some power. Now, if you're planning to buy an aquarium car, don't just use me as your guide on how to use it. You need to read the instructions that come with a train item like this, if they're included. So, if any aquarium car does have the instructions as it should, please read them before use to ensure good operating condition. This item was offered in Lionel's 2011 catalogs and was based on a 1968 animated movie called The Yellow Submarine, which features my favorite rock band, The Beatles. It is one of several Lionel products licensed by The Beatles. In fact, I do have another Beatles freight car in my collection. This is a Hard Day's Night boxcar, which I got for my birthday two years ago. And it looks really cool. Now, if you haven't seen the Yellow Submarine movie before, you can buy this movie wherever DVDs are sold. It is really cool. And after you watch this movie, you'll find that it is beautiful. A few other additional notes before I powered this thing up. First of all, I was so interested in this item that I looked up on eBay to see if anyone has this in stock. And I found a few eBay sellers who had this item, but unfortunately they were a bit overpriced for some reason because its original retail price was about $85. So therefore the eBay sellers must have raised the price over its retail. Secondly, because this item was so overpriced, I emailed my local Lionel dealer about finding this car that would cost less than or equal to its retail price. But when he replied back to me, he said that some other train stores didn't have this item in stock. He also said that this item would, would be considered a rare item, which is probably why the price was raised from its retail. So as I preferred, we went back to eBay to buy this item. 
And then finally, we found this car from one particular eBay seller that sold this for about $110, which is not a very bad price. That's about $25 over its original retail price. Now, in my opinion, what matters more about buying trains is where to find any particular item, whether it's common or rare, uh, than seeing how much it is. But of course, I always buy more affordable 027 trains as opposed to more realistic O scale trains. And a few years before that time, since this item was released, I've been procrastinating about whether I buy this item or not. But but then recently they still had this item in stock. So I was very lucky to buy that that rare item. If this item would have been too hard to find, I would have wanted Lionel's later version of this item, which looks similar but with different decorations. So anyway, I'm about done reviewing this item, and let's see this car in action. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is to turn on the track power, and let's see this car in action. Whoa, this looks really cool. You can see that that light pop on for interior illumination. And look at this yellow submarine inside. They're swimming inside. <laughs> If you've seen the Yellow Submarine movie before, you should be able to recognize some of these fishes swimming around this car. Especially some of those those weird green fishes that you see here, these ones. So you should be familiar with them and if you've seen the movie before. I dim the lights a little bit so that you can see this car in action a little bit better than when it's lighted. I mean, I hope you can see this uh, better. Uh, love that operation. I really love that car. Here's how it's powered uh, without the motion of the belt strip. The only thing you'll see uh, on this car is the illumination inside. That That's all there is uh, without the motion when it's powered. Okay, that about wraps up this review. This is a wonderfully crazy looking aquarium car and I'm extremely happy that I bought it. I'm Brian LaRosa, and I'll see you next time.